Well, hello friends. I'm so excited you can join me tonight. And I am going to do a quick video on how to make these cute little um, goodie bags uh, made from the two tags die cut. And I think you're gonna find that this is such a simple little project could be used for any kind of party favor. And I'm going to actually finish one that I was making for a Halloween goodie treat. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to put it together and finish up another one. Okay, so what I've done is I took um, two of the crumb cake and rolled it through my two tags die cut. And uh, you can hear my phone going off. Love that. Anyways, and you know, it's midnight. Seriously, somebody's calling me at midnight. Hmm, wonder who it is. So I'm going to pull these little taggies off here. That's just sticky strip and put the two tags together and voila, you have your little treat. Now, let me show you on this one, this one is partly finished. On this one, I took a jumbo eyelet and used my crop -a dial to put it together and then threaded some ribbon through it. You kind of see a close up there and then tied it off. And as you can see here on the finished one, there's my ribbon. And then I added some other doodads like a, a modern label punch. Um, you could use a word window punch. Uh, lots of fun things to just add, you know, nice little bits and pieces of fun. Okay, now I wanna show you on the inside uh, how I did that. And <clears throat> what I have done is I'm going to show you this one we're going to finish off and this is my Halloween one and this is the one that you're seeing on my blog tonight okay so it's still open and how I did uh, these little chocolates um, I got these oh I don't know where I got these from but I got these chocolates from somewhere and they're just perfect for layering I'll remember and post it on my my blog um, and I wrapped them with some designer series paper. Now this is the Wicked Fun designer series paper that you can find in the catalog currently. And the measurements for these are one and a half inches by two and three quarters. And I put a piece of sticky strip on it. And then I took my chocolate and put it upside down like this and I folded the paper over and then folded it back. Now, I love putting chocolates like this with the designer paper. I love putting this out in like little trays so customers can see and I can change it out uh, every so often, you know, according to the season. Just don't eat that chocolate in my stamp room because no telling how long it's been there. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're going to put this together and, oh, you probably want to see what I'm doing, huh? Ha <laughs> ha! We're going to do just like that. And I'm going to press it down. So now I have my treat. Now, I'm kind of doing this a little backwards uh, for you guys. Uh, <laughs> now that I think about it, I am doing this really backwards. Before I would close this up normally, I would actually put the sticky strip in there at the bottom. You see the bottom piece right there. Uh, I'm gonna stick the chocolates on there because I don't want the chocolates to move. So before you actually put this together, put your chocolates inside of it. Don't do what Kimberly does because it's just a little bit more difficult. And I'm just gonna layer these in that bottom like this hopefully straight, possibly not. Now, one good thing that you can do, I love mini glue dots, is take a mini glue dot, put it on the bottom. Notice I used my paper piercer, great tool. Great tool to get those off. And then I'm just gonna stack these on top of each other. Oh, see, now sugar biscuits. I put it in on the wrong way. 
Let's, oh, hear that? We're gonna put it down there, and then we're gonna stack this one on top. Now you could put four, five, six, however many chocolates you want. <clears throat> I think we need six. And then we'll layer this one like that. And we're gonna do these two. Oh, we put this one in wrong too. Well, you'll get the point here. Oh, my, my pretty project is not so pretty anymore. Okie dokes. Voila. Let's look at this side. Oh, isn't that cute? All right, so let me explain this one. You're probably wondering uh, where this ribbon came from. It's actually our wide grow grain, and what I did was I cut it in half. And when I cut it, it does fray a little bit, but it makes it look worn and used, and I love it. Then this Wicked Halloween actually came from the Wicked Cool stamp set in the catalog, and so did the witch here. This guy here, this label, is actually coming out in the Holiday Mini. Now this paper, is the Wicked Fun, and this right here, oh, it's fluffy, it's flocked. I love it. Now I put a glitter brad right here, and those two are coming out that you can purchase on September 1st. And what's cool about that is on the other side, I put this uh, piece of cardstock just to hide that. Should probably use a glue dot because that's probably not gonna stick very well. And there you go. There's my little Halloween project. So there's the two tags. Here's my Thanksgiving one or fall one. And then there's my Halloween one. So just different little embellishments to use. All right, hope you have a great night and thanks for coming to stamp with me. Bye-bye.